There have been so many good drivers this year. Another year where I thought, man, we've got the best of the best in 2023. How could 2024 actually make an improvement or make an evolution in driver technology? But once again, I am surprised. And let me tell you, I don't like to spend money, but this year I went out and bought a brand new driver once again with my own money. And in fact, I'm actually gonna be giving that same driver to somebody along with a set of PXG 0211 irons that I reviewed here on the show and a Garmin R10 launch monitor and simulator. I think it's the biggest prize package in all of YouTube history. And we're gonna be giving it away to one of you. So make sure to stay tuned to the episode to find out how to win. It is to celebrate our new partnership with Ship Sticks. If you're gonna travel for golf soon, highly, highly recommend their service. It makes it so simple. And you don't wanna break one of these amazing drivers. So let's quickly go over the ground rules here. First off, we're going with current releases only. So I'm not gonna dive into the back catalog unless a manufacturer didn't release a driver in 2024. If that's the case, we'll go back to the 2023 models, but that's as far as we need to go. The way I rank clubs is on five criteria as always I go with distance forgiveness workability aesthetics and value there's going to be a third second and first place in each of those categories and at the end of this video I'm going to give you an overall what I think is the best drivers of the year now this is one man's opinion so you should know a little bit about me if you've not watched the channel before I am a four handicap and I am absolutely a mere mortal I only have a swing speed of right around 100 miles per hour give or take a couple miles per hour so I'm not blasting the ball 350. A normal carry for me is about 235, rolling out to maybe 260. If I can get some nice dry conditions, maybe have a little gust of wind behind, I might get it out to 280, but I'm definitely not blasting the ball. So hopefully my perspective is more in line with what you're looking for out of a driver. If that's the case, I would ask you to subscribe to this channel as well, because I think it's really important to get advice from someone that you relate with and hopefully I'm relatable. All right, let's get to work here. First off is the distance category. Now we know that driver distance can't get a whole lot better. There are US SGA and RNA conforming specs that you just can't go beyond. So there's not a whole lot these drivers can do apart from getting you a little bit more distance on some of those mishits, which also goes into forgiveness. But I do think there are a few standouts here that seem to generate a little bit more ball speed, leaving the club face and generate just a little higher smash factor on average than some of the others. So coming in at number three for me is going to be the tailor-made QI-10. I was most impressed in the consistency of the distance that I got with the QI-10. Really, when I've tested this driver, all of my drives are consistently a certain distance. The dispersion may not be the tightest of all the drivers out there, but in terms of the distance consistency, I think this club might do it best. Coming in at number two for me is going to be the Cobra Dark Speed. Now, Cobra over the last few years really benefits those of us that have higher club head speed. So if you're a 105 and up, but I'll tell you, Cobra has invested a lot of research and development into generate maximum ball speed. And the way they've really done it this year is working on the aerodynamics, the shape of the driver. And there is something to it. I think you're gonna get a couple extra yards there with the Cobra Dark Speed here in 2024. My number one driver though for distance this year came from, to me, an unlikely place, and that is PXG with their Black Ops. This driver is, in my opinion, the longest driver of 2024. All right, moving on to what most mere mortals really need, which is forgiveness. It's better, I think, to lose a couple of yards, but be in the fairway and give yourself a chance to score than it is to really blast it like the pros like to do and they don't care if they're in the rough because they can scramble so well, but we need to be in the fairway. These are the drivers I think will get you there. Coming in again at number three, TaylorMade QI10. It is a very forgiving driver. There is something to the 10K MOI, meaning on different parts of that face, if you don't hit it quite in the center all the time, you're still going to get reasonably good results and your dispersion is going to be reasonably tight. Coming in at number two for me is Mizuno with the ST Max. Boy, what a forgiving driver this is. And really overall, Mizuno put together a fantastic package in their ST Max this year. Well done, Mizuno. Coming in for me though at number one is going to be the Ping 10K Max. We hear that 10K name again, and it lived up to the name in my opinion. The first three shots I took with the Ping 10K Max, literally you could draw a one yard circle around. I could not believe my eyes when I saw it. And it has consistently been the tightest dispersion of any driver I tested here in 2024. Before we move on to that next category, I do want to remind you, I've got links down below to all of these drivers. So if you're going to buy your drivers, hit my links and it helps support this show. Of course, highly recommend you try these drivers for yourself. Don't just buy them blindly based on what I say, try them for yourself. 
but if you're ready to buy them, I've got the links there for you. Next category is going to be workability. This is something that is really more for experienced golfers who want to move the ball left and right, really shape their shots. Coming in at number three, surprisingly, surprisingly for me, because it's so forgiving, is the Ping 10K Max. It's actually a fairly workable club. I was able to draw the ball and fade the ball on command. Coming in at number two, Callaway AI Smoke. Very workable driver, but coming in at number one for me is actually a 2023 model, and that's going to be the Titleist TSR series. I like the TSR3 best, but you're probably going to get more workability even out of the TSR2. Just a fantastic line of drivers, and it's not surprising the pros use it so much on tour. The next category here is admittedly a subjective one, but I try to be as objective as I can with it. It is the aesthetics category, and aesthetics, I'm thinking, looks, feel, and sound. For me, coming in in the number three spot, again, is the Ping 10K. Now, this could be a little divisive because a lot of people don't like those turbulators on top. I, over the years, have actually come to appreciate them because it gives me an aim point, something to look at when I'm looking down at the club head. Also, over the years, Ping has had some of the worst sounding drivers, but they've continued to improve that and work on it. And I think this year, they've really come up with something that's pretty good. Now, in terms of feel, that probably is the most important part of this category. And you can really feel on the club face where you hit the ball. That way you're giving your body feedback that you can hopefully learn and improve upon. Coming in at number two for me in this category is going to be the Titleist TSR. And again, I like the TSR3 personally. Very good looking driver, clean looks up at a dress. I like a matte finish. This one has more of a gloss finish, but apart from that, I love the shape of it. I love the feel of it. I love the sound of this driver. Coming in at number one for me is a brand that I think has led this category since I've been doing these types of videos, and that's going to be the TaylorMade QI10. The QI10 has exquisite sound and feel to it. It's the best of the best. If you're looking for pure feedback, I think you're going to get that out of a TaylorMade driver over the last years, probably reaching back into the M5 and 6 days. It's that good. And the looks down at a dress, boy, they are as pure as they get. That's number one for me. The last of our categories for me before we crown the overall champion is going to be value. Now this is a category that really disappointed me, to be quite honest, this year. In years past, we had a good selection of drivers that I think were priced affordably. I think of Mizuno, I think of Cobra in that category, Wilson. But this year, all of the brands have seemed to move up market and drivers this year are getting eye-wateringly expensive. And that's really a shame because it's pricing a lot of folks out of it. I really, really am kind of disappointed. But with that said, there are a few that stood out this year that do offer good value. And the last couple offer, in my opinion, exceptional value. Coming in at number three for me is going to be the Cleveland XL2 line of drivers. This is a very good performer and it's priced at a reasonable price under the $500 mark. And there's very few drivers now under the $500 mark, Cleveland being one of them. My number two position is a driver that is increasingly difficult to find. It's been sold out after a couple hours of it being released. They've offered it a couple more times on the website, and I'm not sure we'll ever see it again, but they are floating out there. And that's going to be the Kirkland Signature Driver coming in at $199. It sure does pack a lot of punch for half the price or more of a lot of the big name brands out there. Very, very good performer. Not the best performer, but for the price to value ratio, you got a lot out of the Kirkland driver. You're not gonna have a lot of shaft options. You're not gonna have necessarily adjustability, although the Kirkland does offer an adjustable hosel up or down a degree, but that is going to be always the trade-off with some of these lower budget drivers, including my number one driver on the list, which I think is an absolute buy. It's a no-brainer for me if you're searching for a really high performer at a great price. That's going to be the Tor Edge, not exotics, but just the Tor Edge C524. This driver has all the technology from the exotics line dripped down into it now. You've got diamond face technology, ridgeback technology. It's extremely long. I hit drives as far as 280. I think I might have hit one 284 out there with it. And it's extremely forgiving. It's not very workable, but it's extremely forgiving. And again, that's what mere mortals need. This driver is one of the best drivers I've tested all year. And it definitely wins for value for me. All right, the moment you've been waiting for, my overall pick. So we're amalgamating all of those five categories and I'm distilling it down into my favorite drivers of 2024. Here we go at number three. It's going to be 
the PXG Black Ops. With that distance, with that forgiveness, you've got a very capable driver. You've got so many shaft options, so much customizability. You can really dial in a great driver for you. I would highly recommend you go get fitted for one of these drivers. They do now have fitting locations across the United States, so there should be one in your backyard. Great driver, and if you're a military first responder, you'll get a really nice discount on it as well. I love that PXG does that for our heroes out there. At number two, it's going to be the TaylorMade QI10. This is a really strong contender. I always love TaylorMade drivers. I gamed the Sim 2 for a while. I love the feel, the sound, the distance, the forgiveness. It's really a full package. Fantastic, fantastic job again from TaylorMade. But there can only be one number one. And for me, that is going to be, where is it? That's gonna be the Ping 10K Max. The Ping 10K Max is the full package. You've got distance, maybe not as long as all of them, but it's gonna be right up there. The forgiveness being the best. I personally like the aesthetics. I love the counterbalance shaft options that come with this. And it's not a cheap driver, but it will actually hold its value probably better than all of the other clubs here on the list. So the Ping 10K Max for me is the best driver of 2024 for at least this mere mortal. Like I said, I'm giving this Ping 10K away with our ship sticks giveaway, including those PXG irons, including that Garmin R10. So if you want to win it, it's very easy to get into the giveaway. Just two things you need to do. Number one, follow our new Let's Play Through Travel channel that just launched. We've only got two episodes up, but I think we're already over 3,500 subscribers as of me making this video and hopefully very soon we're going to get over 10,000. If we do that, I'm going to unlock some more prizes as well. But first off, subscribe to that new channel. Secondly, I've got a form down below. Hit that form and we are going to draw a winner. It will be announced on the community page of Let's Play Through. Be careful of scammers. They are out there. I will not contact you to pay for shipping. Any of that shipping is on me. It's actually on ship sticks and there is no financial obligation on your part. It's 100% free to enter and free to win. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me some comments down below with your picks. What did you go with this year? I'm excited to find out what's gone into your bag, even if it's an older driver, I'd love to know as well. I hope you enjoyed this. Hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you back here next time on another edition of Let's Play Through.